does he does anybody have a bible on him right now uh, i can go grab mine all right or i can pull it where you can pull something up I, I, I got my i got it up on my uh on my browser right now okay so do me a favor go to daniel chapter 325 and i just want to see what his brother i got on that since he says because uh the book of daniel comes before uh malachi and i just want him to, uh, matter of fact um i want to appear on that piece, brother Brad. huh the daniel three and what uh, uh daniel chapter three verse 25. <clears throat> And you can give context to that, Brother Brad, because I know you know uh, that part, right? Let me pull it up right here. <clears throat> okay, it says, Daniel 3 and 25, it says, He answered and said, Lo, I see I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the, for and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. You want me to keep going? Yes, sir. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fire, fiery furnace and spake and hold on okay my bad I'll, I'll start off from uh 25 again this is uh daniel 3 and 25 it says he answered and said lo i see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the form of the fourth is like the son of god verse 26 then nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said Shad shadrach meshach and abednego i'm of course i may be pronouncing those wrong <laughs> ye servants of the most high god come forth and come hither then shadrach meshach and abednego came forth of the midst of the fire um okay so this is 27 i'll go i'll move on to 28 it says and the prince and the princes governors and captains and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon the upon whose bodies the fire had no power nor was an hair of their head singed neither were their coats changed nor the smell of fire had passed on them uh, verse 28 then nebuchadnezzar spake and said blessed be the god of shadrach meshach and abednego who had who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god yeah the son of god here is um is basically this angel it tells you what um a lot of people if you go back to that one verse what was that was that verse 28 um uh then nebuchadnezzar spake and said blessed be the god of shadrach so the so the focus is god anyway not the mm -hmm. angel because we don't supposed to worship angels so we mm -hmm. got to also remember that as well then it, it says uh, shadrach meshach and abednego who have sent his angel so bless they said they said blessed be the most high he said right mm -hmm. then he named those names and he said who have sent his angel The Messiah is not an angel, at least not in this sense, right? Messiahs are born of men and women. Angels are not born of male and female. I mean, the blood, the uh, flesh. See that? So a lot of times when we read, we don't like. If we get caught up in these theological schools and let them and let them try to interpret that to us. We won't. We ain't, we're gonna get messed up because you gotta understand the adversaries. Of of the Most High, which is listed in Psalms eighty three, they studied this book too, and then they try to teach it to us, so we don't know what it is that the Most High is really saying. They teaching us to us, they teach it to us wrong, just like they teach a lot of stuff to us in these uh, uh these um secular or these uh government schools wrong. You see what I'm saying? So right here is letting you know that this Son of God is this, is really this angel. It's an angel of the Most High or a warrior. Because you got, you got. He's also called the Lord of Hosts or the Lord of Armies. You right. see that? So, so, but a lot of, but a lot of what, what, what a lot of, uh, cap. I don't know if they was Catholics or whoever. They want to tell us, oh, see, that's Christ right there before he was born. Wait a minute. No man. There's nobody walking around in heaven before they're born. I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Nobody's walking around on earth before they're born. That's you see what I'm saying? So we got to get caught. We got to be cautious about all this, these deceptions and lies. And that's one of the jobs 
of the Messiah that's supposed to come, he's supposed to bring clarity and truth and expose all those lies and false doctrines that we've been um, contaminated with as a people. Right. So we so so this is not this is not Jesus Christ in verse twenty eight. And then <clears throat> messiahs, messiahs don't live. No messiah was living. A messiah does not live and walk around as an angelic being, like a lot of people try to teach. That that the, it, the most high don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? We would have to be willing to let go of those things that we've been taught is wrong, or that we and that we thought was right, and just let it go. That's pride getting in the way. You know, pride. <clears throat> stops, pride can stop me from. Or anyone from from accepting the truth. You see, what I'm saying. So, uh, if you read in Ezekiel, it talks about if you want to continue to believe in Jesus Christ. Basically, I'm paraphrasing. I gotta find that scripture. Hopefully, I can find mm -hmm. it before, before y'all let go. Yeah, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me uh, so brother Brad, do you still got the Bible? I got, it. I got. It. Like I said, I got. Uh, let's brother. go to um. So I want you to go to um, um Daniel's chapter seven, verse thirteen. All right, I'll pull it. I'll, I'll pull it up right now. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, Matter of fact, start, start at um, so chapter seven, verse nine, and read it all the way to verse thirteen. So chapter seven, verse nine, all the way to chapter seven, verse thirteen. Then I'm gonna hit you with uh, <clears throat> then I'm gonna hit you with Revelation fourteen one um chapter um verse fourteen. All right. Uh, it says, "I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit." Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head, uh, uh, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fire, uh, verse ten. A fiery steam is uh, issued and came forth from before him. Thousands, thousand, thousands ministered up unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were uh, open. Hold on. Hello? Yeah, I know you said start at nine. You said to uh, go to where? Oh, you good? I heard. Yeah, you read enough. Okay. So if you read, I'm going to go to Rev. Now turn to Revelations. Turn to Revelations chapter one and start at verse 14. And I just want to ask you, do, 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 those people describe. Now, keep in mind, it said thousands of thousands ministered on to the man who um, hair is white like wood. Now, I want you to go to Revelation, right, and read uh, chapter 1, verse 14, all the way to verse 15. So it's just two verses, Brother Brad, if you could do that. And just tell me, are those people pretty much the same person? <clears throat> all right. It says in verse uh, Revelations, chapter 1, verse 14 says, his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were a flame of fire. Verse 15 and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Don't that sound like the person describing Daniel, Brother Brad? That, to me, sounds like the uh, the the same person, but I mean, uh, I guess the question would be if Aya believes that, believes that. Is that what you're asking? Cause, I, mean, I, don't, I don't disagree. <clears throat> with this, but. Go back to, um, go back to the, the Daniel uh, verse, uh, verse 9, chapter 7. Go to the part when it said thousands of angels minister unto him. Because I'm trying to figure out what angel is so special that she got a whole bunch of other angels minister unto him. Right? That got that got that unique description because they do describe angels throughout the Bible. They don't, they're not described like that. Am I am I am I wrong, um, Brother Brad? Not like I said, I I don't disagree. Um, because I like I mean, you're asking me. I, I'm a believer in, in 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 the Messiah. So uh, these verses, I I I don't necessarily disagree with. But I, I would be curious, I guess, to know what Ayah would uh say about these. But uh, I'll read verse uh ten again about the 